and welcome back to my channel. This is Tuesday night tonight. Obviously yesterday was Monday but I didn't film it. It was Steve's birthday so we had a Chinese and tonight I am making Penny a la Rustica. Sorry if you hear that crunching in the background. It's Violet, one of our cats. She's eating her tea just now. Um, last week I had to order my mum a new freezer and when I checked out, it offered me one of these um, to try for a pound. So you're getting to pick any, I think it's like about 117 different um, flavourings to make these recipes. And as I say, it was only a pound, so I thought, well, what have you got to lose? It works out 25p each. So I picked Penny a la Rustica. I picked two. One is with chorizo and the other one is with aubergine. And... I chose bam bam chicken, creamy honey, creamy honey mustard chicken as well. So it comes with the recipes and it also um, comes with like a tear off bit so you can take it to the shop to get the ingredients which I thought was quite good. So tonight we are having the chorizo penne a la rustica. So it's got cherry tomatoes in it, um, just the things I'll be using, cherry tomatoes, pasta, single cream, is it single cream? No, it's Yes, it is single cream, chorizo and parmesan as well. It also says you could put in some, for like your optionals, which is it? You can put in frozen peas, grated parmesan. And you could it tells you how to do like swaps and how to make it milder. So it came up with, if you're gluten free, I think it's like 117 um, different, what are these called? Simply cook thingies, anyway. So... I'm going to give this a try, um, I've signed up, so it's £10 a month normally, so I've signed up again for next month, if I like it I can always cancel it if I don't, but it gave me a code that you can try it as well for a pound, um, but as a disclaimer, if you do sign up, I get either a free box or um, I get £10 cash, but then when you sign up, if you do so, then you would then get a code to pass on to your friends and you would also get the same. So just wanting to pass that information on. I'll put the code down below in the description box if you are keen on taking it out. But I thought for a pound it was quite a good deal just to for something different. So Noah's wanting to help me cook tonight. So I don't know if I'll film any of me, <laughs> any of us cooking because it might be a bit of a disaster. Um, but... I'll show you anyway once it's all made and on the plate. So I've decided to take the risk and film us cooking this together. So I'll just show you the ingredients all chopped up. So this is 150 grams of the chorizo. I just went for the mild one um, rather than the spicy one just because no one's going to be eating it. And also Steve because he doesn't like spicy things either. And this is 500 grams of cherry tomatoes cut in half. And these are the pots that you get in the um, box. So there's a garlic and rosemary, rustica paste and red pepper sprinkles as well. So it gives you, just in case you are interested in getting it, it serves to or in brackets that's the quantities you need if you're doing it for four. Um, so yeah, so it's quite a simple, straightforward recipe anyway. So me and Noah are away to attempt to cook this together. Mix that. Okay, and you mix it. Right. So we're putting the chorizo. Put here for two minutes. And then we added some butter and the rest of the tomatoes. And the, oh, you need to all the rest of it in. And the garlic and rosemary mix. And we fry it for two minutes. Okay, baby. So we've added in the rustica paste, and Noah's now giving it a good stir, aren't you? And then what we're doing next is we've got the cream to add in, and then gently bubble for two three minutes, stirring until the cream reduces by half. And then I'm to add in the frozen peas as well. Oh, well, no, it's now just left. So, looks like I'm doing this myself then. So, I'm just going to add in the cream. 
and then I'll show you it once it's all done. Oh, you're back, are you? So I'm going to add in the cream and also the peas as well. So here is our meal all dished up. So I didn't bother adding a lot of the red pepper flakes to the actual pan. I just put in maybe about a third just so it didn't make it too spicy for Noah. And then I've added on the extra to the top of mine. So this is mine. I've got mine with some cucumber, some salad and red and orange pepper so I've got that and this is Noah's Steve not home yet so he'll have his when he comes in that's my tap running if you're wondering what noises and that's in the pan so it makes quite a lot because I've got quite a big helping I haven't put on um, any parmesan though because I couldn't get the bloody packet open so yeah so I'm having mine minus the parmesan so I'll let you know how I what I thought of it Hi, and it's Thursday and tonight we were going to be having sausages and mash using these pork and apple sausages from Sainsbury's. However, my potatoes were a bit nasty looking so they've been chucked out and instead I thought we could have hash browns with it. So I'm going to do like a cooked breakfast type um, meal tonight. So we'll have the sausages, the hash browns. I'll probably do mushrooms because Noah quite likes mushrooms as well and beans and I think I've got tomatoes as well that I can use Um, I'll see what else is looking like it needs to be used up but that's what we are having tonight I'll show you it once I've dished everything up and here it is all dished up this is Noah's so he's got two hash browns some mushrooms, beans and a sausage I've cut up his sausage and this is mine because Steve's just come home and said he's not feeling well and doesn't want any tea. So I've got two sausages. I cooked them in the air fryer. Um, cooked them on air fry at 180 for 20 minutes and I shook it every few minutes just so they kept turning around. I've got the mushrooms, beans, tomatoes and hash browns. So that's what we are having this Thursday night. It's Friday and tonight we've got scampi and chips for tea, except for Noah who's got fish fingers. So he has three fish fingers, some cucumber, peas, french fries and I've given him a couple of the Leon waffle fries to try. These are gluten free if you've not already tried them and they're actually quite nice. So that's Noah's plate. Steve has the Whitby gluten free scampi with peas french fries and he also has the Leon waffle fries as well and I've got the scampi waffle fries I didn't fancy any chips and I've also got salad and peas and that is what we are having this Friday night hi and it is Saturday and tonight I'm having steak and chips so I've got a sirloin steak underneath this peppercorn sauce it is medium rare, so while I was letting it rest, I fried some mushrooms and baby plum tomatoes in the same frying pan and I also put some season oil over the top of it. I cooked the chips and the onion rings in the air fryer. I don't know if you hear that crunching noise, it's Freddy that's having his food. Um, and spinach, I thought I'd have some spinach and the peppercorn sauce is um, out of a tub which is gluten free as well. So since it's Saturday, I'm gonna be really wild and I'm gonna have a can of copper burg as well. So that is what I am having tonight. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Thanks, bye.